Welcome back, casual collectors. I'm Steel Wolf. And Spider Kid. And today we're going to be bringing you a review of the Fortnite Victory Royale series arcade collection cabinets. So we picked up these cabinets at Amazon for the price of $11.59. They are currently in stock at Walmart and Amazon for the same exact price. These are currently sold out at Best Buy, Target, and GameStop. Alright, with prices out of the way, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box. And we're going to go ahead and tackle two of these at the same time to see what we find inside. Okay, so now look in the box. You can see the first thing you're going to notice is that the arcade, which you can see obviously, and the top has arcade collection, with the bottom being Fortnite Victor Royale series. Now if we look to the side, we can see it has all the weapons and items that are inside of it. Now if we look at the back, we can see a lot of illegal stuff. Now if we go back to the side, we can see pictures of the arcade them themselves. Now if we look at the top, we can see that it has the words Fortnite Victor Royale series. Now if we look at the bottom, we can see the barcode. With those details out of the way, let's go ahead and put in our quarters and see what we got. Alright. And here we have the arcades unboxed and looking absolutely amazing. You know, these guys just look so cool. And if you can see, there's the accessories that they come with. And it also doubles as a display rack. So if you're not a big Fortnite fan, I get it. However, though, if you're into photography and accessories, these are going to be perfect for your figures. Alright, let's get a closer look at these accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the arcades themselves. So here are the three items that came with the orange themed arcade collection cabinet. Let's go ahead and start from the left to the right here. So first of all, I'm going to start here with the sticky bomb here. Now if you guys remember this uh, past uh, Fortnite Mirror season, they had that special horde mode. They basically brought this back for that mode and I would love using this thing for that horde mode. You just throw it on one of those guys and watch them get together and then BOOM! This thing goes off. I don't recall them bringing this back, uh, at least not these last two seasons into the actual game, but I could be wrong. But yeah, you just basically would throw this at a person or a building or anything and it would stick to it. And then it would explode. But I mean, this thing looks really good. Looks like the way it does in the game. The whole plunger setup thing. Got some nice detail to it too, I mean, check that out, that looks great, you can see those rivets there. Love this really bright blue that they have right here, that looks great. You can even see some metal pieces and rivets right there on that thing right there, that looks great. And we got that brown right here on the handle, we got this little open piece there, you can actually port that into the little uh, stand that it has there. These aren't very hard, these are kind of soft, so you're not going to stick yourself with these. Then we have the plunger piece itself. That looks good. All low in here. Yeah, this looks great. And it is a little oversized, but I mean, you know, that's kind of the whole Fortnite effect thing. You know, they look hecka good. So this is going to go really good with that Shadow Meowsles that we just reviewed. Very nice. Let's go on to the next accessory. And here we have the heavy sniper rifle. This thing, it's looking awesome. It's definitely beefy. It's big. But, I mean, check out that detail on that. Really, really awesome. Look at this stock right here. That looks great. Handle looks good. This magazine looks great, too. Got some sculpt in there. This would be right here where the bolt is. That looks great. Scope is looking good, too. Here looks great. Some what look like Picatinny rails on top right here. Looks good. Not much on the bottom there. We got a bipod that's folded upwards. That looks cool. We got this muzzle flash piece up here. That looks great. And as you see, they got some blue paint right there for the scope on that side. That looks good. Nothing on this side. It's just black. On this side, pretty much the same as the other. Looking good. This one's a little warped, though, so we might have to try to fix this here. But looking good. Definitely looks awesome. Can't wait to see what Meowsos looks like with this thing. All right, and let's take a look at our last accessory here. And that is the Boogie Bomb. And man, look at this thing. This looks good. Love this metallic paint right here. This gray metallic paint. That looks great. It's got a shine to it. That looks good. Got this handle right here painted black. 
we got some little rivets there looks good all these intricate colors here that looks great this yellow looks good it's flattened on the bottom so it can stand on its own if you need it to but yeah this looks good and that's all the accessories that came with this cabinet here let's go ahead and take a look at the other one and here are the accessories that come with the other arcade so here we have the tactical machine gun and this looks great like it was just ripped out of the game looks really really good got a lot of detail definitely looks like it got beat up though but looking really nice love this little red accent here on the clip that looks great got some picatinny rails on top there we have the sight here's what it looks like from the front here's the other side looking really good definitely looks Fortnite. oh man this looks good yeah we haven't seen these guys ever since the marvel season i believe looking really good though all right let's take a look at our next accessory all right and here we have the scoped ar this looks cool very very nice love this agog scope up here looking absolutely awesome we have the little cap right there that's flipped up that looks cool with some red paint for the lens that looks awesome all this cool scoped on the gun itself very cool definitely has that fortnite vibe to it and we got a little bit of a blue right here it's kind of subtle hard to see there but there's some blue there right at the end there unfortunately this one as well kind of came to warp there you know we have to try to fix that but this looks great a lot of detail love these weapons all right let's take a look at the last accessory that came in this arcade cabinet and that would be the slurp juice now at first we thought this was one of the minis but no it's definitely different the mini had that cork that you just pop off but this one this one was just the slurp juice i remember this one slightly but not a hundred percent so i don't recall what season but I do remember that we played during this season. There is something written here, uh, Lafar, like if that, I think it says Lafar, but I'm not sure. And then this design here that looked like almost like fish. But this looks great. It's got this metallic vibrant blue on here. Makes it look like it's an aluminum cap, but that looks great, that blue. And then we got that cool translucent blue inside. This looks really good. The only problem with this though, it's kind of bulky. So it's going to be probably a little bit of a challenge to have your characters hold on to this. They might have to use two hands to hold on to this. And if they don't have butterfly joints, that might be a little tough to pull off there. So, But definitely a really cool looking accessory. Very awesome. I love this kind of stuff. All right, and that does it for all the accessories. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at each cabinet. Okay, so now looking at the cabinets themselves, we can see is that all these are stickers. If we look in the front, we can see that there's a sticker that says Dance Royale with different emotes. If we look at the main screen, we can see fish stick dancing, what seems to be like some like triangles. And you can see there are yellow buttons, the blue buttons, and also red joysticks. And if we look in the middle, we can also see a Durburger face with like this green like background. And if we start going down, that we can see is where the quarters will go to play the game. And if we look at the side, you can see a nice little like, disco-like look with two defaults dancing. And the same can be said for this other side. Not really much on the back, not much on the top either, on the bottom, and there is a way to open it. And all you need to do is go down here, and boom. And if we look really closely, you can actually see there's like, a little circuit board in there which is really cool detail. And if you look at this, this is where you put all your guns at. If you wanted to put them on the outside, all you gotta do is just flip this over, and so we just put it back in. And there's that. Now I'm going on to the second one. We can see it is awfully the same, but the colors are different, and there's different emotes on the, bo on the top. There's another skin dancing, the joysticks, and, and the buttons are still the same. But there's, instead of a dirt burger head, there's not a fish stick head with a blue like background. The same thing where you put the quarters into play. The same disco look, but this time it's an orange with two different d defaults dancing. And the same thing goes for the back. And the same people dancing in the bottom too. Now I hit the front and now I'll the back. Alright, so in case you're wondering, these guys stand at about 
six and a half inches tall. So definitely your six inch scale. Here we have the Hasbro Fortnite Victory Royale series Shadow Meowsels next to the Fortnite Arcade Cabinet Collection. Yeah, Meowsels is a little bit big, but again, he is a bigger character. Let's go ahead and see what he looks like if he was actually playing the arcade. All right, here's what he looks like in a pose, like as if he's playing the arcade. And he doesn't look bad. Here we have the Victio Royale arcade cabinets next to the amazing Yamaguchi Deadpool. And for another comparison, here we have the arcade cabinet next to your McFarland, Damian Wayne Robin. Here we have the Marvel Legends Zombie Hunter Spidey next to the Victory Royale arcade cabinet. And for our last comparison with these cabinets here, we have a Spider Kid custom Lego figure next to your Kid Goku SH figure arts. And now for a segment that I like to call Spider Kid's Custom Corner. So for customs, I can only think about one thing. It's about turning this into actual life-like arcades. Like if you want to, if you're able to remove the stickers from this arcade, you can make things like the original X-Men arcade, the Simpsons arcade, or any type of arcade. Yeah, I agree. I mean, the best thing you can do is to make them into actual real arcade cabinets, you know, with the marquee and the stickers to, to match, you know. And in case you're no good at making customs like myself, um, you can actually go on Instagram and there is a guy there by the name of Kyler Robinson Customs who actually makes these stickers for your arcade cabinets here. He measures them out, he prints them and everything, and they look absolutely amazing. And so far from the things I've seen him do is X-Men, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, Pac-Man, all the good arcades, he does them. And they look outstanding. And he also gives you an image for the actual screen as well. So definitely check him out. By no means are we sponsored, but I just saw his post the other day. I stumbled on it, and I got to say, it looks amazing. I would definitely buy one of those. Okay, and as always, you can go ahead and see our rating system here on the left. And I'm going to go ahead and give these guys a rating of... Legendary. Now the legendary rating I'm giving these guys is because these are miniature arcade cabinets. I mean, how much cooler can that be? And they're for your figures. I mean, come on, we can all think of just absolutely a ton of cool pictures to post. I mean, any character will look cool with these arcades. Then when you get into customizing these things, putting in your own marquees, your own images, it makes it even better. Now, as for features, there isn't many features to this, you know, it's kind of what you see is what you get. I do like the fact that you get some accessories and it doubles as display stands for those accessories, you know, for storage. You know, I really do like the fact that they do that. Now, this might be a plus for you or it might be a downside for you, but they are Fortnite weapons. So, you know, they can be a little bit oversized, a little bit bulky, and a little bit goofy. But if you're a fan of Fortnite, you're going to fall in love with these accessories. So, I'm going to give this a rating of... Epic. The reason why is because, like Steve Wolf said, it is really great. You can do a lot of good pictures with this. But I wish it could have came with at least a little more than just three weapons and like an item. And it also wish that maybe some of the joysticks can move also. And from there, the list goes on and on. But overall, I think it's really great. So final thoughts. Again, great item. Great price point at about $12. You know, they were a little bit hard to find. We noticed that only really Amazon and Walmart currently held these guys online. Everywhere else we looked, they were sold out. I mean, I don't even think Big Bad Toy Story had them in stock, you know. So I don't know the reason for that, you know. But uh, they were a little bit hard to find. And then forget about seeing these guys at the store. At least for us down here in Southern California, we never seen these things in store. We're barely starting to see some of the actual Fortnite figures at the Target stores. But I will say this though, these guys look just the way they do in Fortnite. And if you're curious where these guys are located right now in Fortnite, if you go ahead and land at Rocky Reels, you'll find a whole area where these guys are located. There's a bunch of these arcades in there.
Another plus is that they do look just like the ones in the game. Spider Kid did mention that he wanted more accessories, and you know, I do agree. I've always want more accessories. I just feel that so far they've only made these two in particular. So you're either going to get the one that comes with the heavy sniper rifle, or you're going to get the one with the tactical machine gun. Now, if you buy more of these, you're just going to double up on those specific weapons. I was really hoping that these would have had random accessories in there you know so every time that you buy one you're not guaranteed but you will most likely would have gotten something different versus buying four of these and getting you know the same exact accessories and weapons you know i wasn't sure if they had a third version of this arcade which i thought they did but i have not seen yet so far, I've only seen these same items that come with these arcades. So definitely a variety would have been a lot nicer because I know that most people aren't just going to buy one. They're going to buy multiple of these things. Yeah, these are really cool things, and I love how how they look, of how big they are. And I really think these are pretty good. And I like how they had different prints on them. And overall, like you said, I, I wish that every time you bought one, it could have been different items. But overall, it is pretty good. And that's going to do it for our review on the Hasbro Fortnite Victory Royale Series Arcade Collection. I'm Steel Wolf. And Spider Kid. Continue collecting. And remember... Stay, stay casual. casual.